In this video, we are going to build together this whole admin page, which has light and dark mode, and it's fully responsive. We are going to build it in Svelte and Svelte version of ShedCN. You are not going to believe how fast it is to create an admin UI using these tools. So first thing we are going to do is to create a new Svelte app. So from our home screen, we are going to Docs and here we already have instructions how to create a new project and I'm going to use this npm create svelte latest my app command. But I'm not going to call it my app, I'm going to call it admin svelte, like this. So now we are creating our svelte application, I'm going to create just a skeleton project and yes, I'm going to use TypeScript, I love TypeScript, and we are going to add ESLint for code linting, and there it is, we already have our application ready, and here now we can go pmpm install inside of our project, and right after that, that one should be quick, here it is, we can run pmpm dev. And now we have the project running on port, 5173. So we are going there and we can see that we have successfully installed our Svelte application. Awesome. So right after that, we can go to our Svelte version of ShadCN and we are going to click there, get started. Yeah, one important thing is that this is unofficial port of ShadCN UI to Svelte. So this is not official ShadCN website and it's not connected to ShedCN anyhow, but still it's working almost exactly the same. So let's try it out. We're going to get started and here installation, it's looking exactly the same like the real ShedCN. And here we have instructions how to install everything. So first thing we need to do is to add the latest Tailwind CSS. So we are adding that one. I'm going to projects and then there to admin Svelte and I'm installing the latest version of Tailwind CSS. So no, I'm not going to use typography plugin and that one is being installed. There it is. And now this one, we already did this. So we need to add this alias inside of our Svelte config. So we are opening our code for the first time and we are going to our svelte.config.js and we are putting this alias that we copied, I think I didn't copy it after all, like this. And now I just paste it inside here to our kit, same like here in the tutorial. And now we need to run the npx shedcn svelte latest init command. And we are going to run that one here inside of our terminal. And same like with, with the real shedcn, we are getting the styles, base color, I'm going to choose stone. Then here we need to say where is our main CSS file, our tailing config, and where we want our components to be. So we are going to choose everything to be defaults and here the utils. And now it is installed. So now if we check the code here inside the sources, lib, we can see here the components, that one is created. And also here we see the utils. And now we can start, start installing our components. So what am I going to do next? I'm going to the blocks and there we need to find the page that we want to copy and paste basically inside of our project. So that's the admin page that I showed you in the beginning. And let me, here it is. So this is the one. And what are we going to do? We are just going to click here on copy code and we have this entire page in our clipboard. So now I'm going to the routes and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it admin and inside I'm going to create a new page.svelte. If you're working in Node.js, this one is going to be easy for you. It's exactly the same with uh, the routing system. And now I pasted the entire file inside the page.svelte. So we have this one just copied and pasted here. And as we can see, we are missing all of these components. So we need to install these components in order for this page to work. So now we're going again to ShedCN, we're going to the components 
and we are just going to take that command. I always forget it. It's just npx shed cn svelte latest add card. And we are going to put that command inside here. So let's see what do we need. We need badge button card. So I'm going to write that one down. Button badge card. And we need the drop down menu input and sheet. So I'm putting drop down menu input and sheet and I'm pressing enter. So now we're going to install all of those components ready to install. Yes. And we are adding that one. So now success. Awesome. Now we can check here and we can see that we no longer have this problem this error here, but we have this one. So what are we missing? We're missing the Lucid Svelte package. I'm going to add that one. So I'm going PM PM add Lucid Svelte and there it is. So now we can check here and it takes time to refresh. I'm going to reload my window so we can see the difference if we get rid. Yes. So now we get rid of those errors, but still here we have two because I'm saying it again, this one is not the real Shed CN. They made a mistake with the icon names. So here we need our line and I'm not sure what's the name there. I think it's line chart something, chart line. So it's not line chart, it's chart line and home is I think house. And yeah, that's it. So now we don't have any more errors. You can check here inside of your cursor. If you don't have anything red, you're error free. And we can now go to here and we need to go to our admin page. And voila, this is it. This is our admin page now working with Shadzi and components. So here this drop down is working these buttons, this navigation bar, sidebar. And if we put it to be smaller, it's working also like this. So that's awesome. So we did everything right and everything is working as it should. Only thing left is the light and dark mode switch. That one is also going to be easy. So here we are going to our shed CN documentation and we're going here to dark mode and then we're going svelte. So here we need to install this mode watcher dependency. So I'm going to add it with PMPM and that one should be quick. There it is. And next thing that we need to do is to add it inside of our layout. So I'm going to the layout svelte file and I'm just going to format it a little bit better. So it's going to be like this and slots can be here. So we need to call this mod watcher here above of our slot. And there it is. Awesome. And now we need this light switch component. So I'm going to copy this whole component and I'm going inside the components UI and there I'm going to create a new folder light switch. And inside I'm creating a new light switch dot svelte file and I'm copy pasting basically the entire component from here to this new component on our project. I have to format manually my svelte files because I don't have yet any extension for svelte. If you know any, it would be great. You can tell me in the comments so I can format this one easily. And now here we also need our index.ts where we are going to export our light switch. So how are we going to do it? Here cursor is already giving me the answer. So we are importing the light switch from this file and then we are just exporting it so we can import it on our page. Now I'm not sure why I have this error here. Uh, cannot find module. I'm just going to skip that part and we are going to put here our light switch uh, here just right next to the account drop down. So I'm going to search my account. Here it is. And right before our drop down menu, I'm going to put this light switch. Here it is. 
and let's test it out. So now we have our light switch and here we can already see it. And if I click, it's turning everything to dark mode. If I click again, it's turning it to light mode. So it's working exactly how we wanted for it to work. Awesome. And just like that, we built entire admin panel UI without, I mean, almost without any coding. So here we have light and dark mode and it's fully responsive. We have the sidebar working on mobile devices. And this one is basically ready to be shipped for some project that you have in five minutes. How cool is that? This was my first Svelte video, Warriors. I hope you enjoyed. And if you want more content like this, join the mighty horde, click that Warcry subscribe button and become a true web dev warrior.